Here to talk about the TBS series, Rat in the Kitchen. I'd like to welcome Natasha Leggero and Ludo Lefebvre to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. So this is your first time, actually, this is the first time for both of you to appear on our show. So uh, before we talk about Rat in the Kitchen, let's talk a little bit about you. Uh, Natasha, actress, writer, comedian, uh, how did you start your career in TV? Um, how did I start my career in TV? Well, um, I think the first thing I did was a fake reality show called The 70s House, where I played someone who they made all the kids get rid of their cell phones and live for like two weeks without internet, which by the way, would be really interesting now. <laughs> Maybe we should bring it back. Um, oh my gosh. Did they yeah. give you a rotary phone? <laughs> I think they were allowed to use the rotary phone. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Natasha, fans have seen your appearances on Comedy Central Roasts, and uh, roasts often get a little personal. I mean, it's technically the point. <laughs> um, when it comes to writing your material for your roasts or just your comedy in general, uh, how do you gauge what will get a positive response from the audience and what won't? And do you sometimes water it down or do you... I do you most of the time just go all out? <laughs> um, well, you know, times change a little bit and you try to adapt and <laughs> be sensitive yeah. to what's happening in the world. And, you know, you just kind of have to ask yourself sometimes as a comedian, am I the kind of comedian who wants to be really nice and not offend anyone? Or do I want to, you know, say things that could be slightly edgy or shocking and that you think are funny as long as it's not hurting people, but it's, it's, it's always mm -hmm. a very hard line, but do I water things down? I try not to. And, and how do you tell if things are funny? Well, you go up a lot and you know, it's, it's interesting because oftentimes there'll be a joke that you think is really funny and then you keep doing it for different crowds and everyone gives you the same kind of like mediocre response. <laughs> And then you're like, oh, this must not work. As opposed, you know, and then sometimes you do a joke and like every time it's the joke that everyone laughs at the most. So it's like audiences really are the best gauge. Mm -hmm. Well, just on a side note, I just wanted to say that you are so much fun and so funny. So Aww, just wanted you. to throw that out there. <laughs> so Ludo, world renowned, award winning celebrity chef. Uh, how did you start your career as a chef and what is your creative process of making new dishes? I mean, I started cooking, I was 14 years old. Um, I spent a lot of time with my grandma in the kitchen and my grandma was a great cook. And just watching her cooking every day for me, she was uh, doing dishes every day for, yeah, sorry, every day for me. And I love to watch her in the kitchen. And when I was a kid, I loved to eat. It was woolly. I loved to eat. So I, I become a chef. But the process to create a dish, I always say, is to go hunting, hunting for the best ingredient. First, create a dish is to really to pick the best ingredients. And then after is creativity. You know? Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Ludo, uh, I asked him, remember you, or he was saying he had this amazing dish that was eel and white chocolate mashed potatoes. Is that yes. right? Or, yeah. And I asked him, I said, how did you think of those two combinations together? And he said, I woke up, it, it was from a dream. <laughs> yeah, it was true actually, the white chocolate. White cho wait, white chocolate and what? And mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. And eel. And eel. And eel. Yeah. Sometimes don't <laughs> wow. ask how we create dishes, but sometimes you walk, sometimes you don't walk. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can be the rat in the kitchen, trust me. <laughs> now, Ludo, what is your favorite dish to make? And what is your favorite dish to have made for you? Well, uh, I really love to cook uh, chicken and potato. It's my favorite thing to do for the family, for my friend. I love roasted chicken. I think it's so technical to cook a chicken, to have the meat very moist, the skin very crispy, and some good flavor with the butter, some 
smash crispy potato with garlic and olive oil and herbs. I love to do chicken. Uh, something I love to cook every Sunday. I love to do a roast for my family. I roast a piece of meat and vegetable every Sunday. Something very simple we eat every Sunday night with my family. But what I like people cook for me, I mean, whatever, whatever they like, and it just needs to be good, that's it. If Natasha invites me to her house, you know, I would love to cook what she wants to cook for me, you know. I'm very open. I love good food. So it just needs to be good. That's it. Do you, like, you. do you like Cheerios with oat milk, Ludo? Yes. You know, that is my little secret snack. I love Cheerios and oat and milk. I love that. I love <laughs> oh, that. Wow. Yeah. I love I eat, I eat that sometimes the night at 11 o'clock the night when I come back from work. I love it. <laughs> On the afternoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on the eel, white chocolate, and what was it? Mashed potatoes? <laughs> I'm still... Yeah, no, we are serious. Yeah, you know, it's true. It was a I'm, dish. I'm still stuck on that. Were you were you serious about the combination? Yeah, or I mean, was that like a... He said it came to him in a dream, <laughs> but it was like at his very fancy restaurant, right? Wasn't that at Yeah, it's a fancy. It was a Michelin star restaurant. Yeah, definitely. And it was some green apple for acidity to balance the dish. It was fatty. It was a green apple, like I say, for the acidity. Yeah, it, it was a, you never eat it, Natasha? No, but I can imagine. It oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Is there like a, a YouTube for that, Ludo? Like where where you show how to make that? Because I would right. love I to never see make, that. I don't think so. I make this dish on YouTube. Yeah. I don't think so. But the dish, but the dish works very well. You think it's a sabotage, but it's not. It works very well. It's not a sabotage. So, Natasha, do you do you know how to cook too? Uh, no. <laughs> but I'm a very good critic, and I have a very developed palate, and I love when other people cook for me. What is your favorite dish that you love to have made for you? Mm, whenever I am traveling, I always like to go to the oldest restaurant. <laughs> And I just love kind of old fashioned food, you know, like I would love, I, I love when there's like a pot pie or, you know, some kind of roasted salmon and creamed spinach. And, you know, I, I like kind of the, the old fashioned type foods. Um, I'll always, you know, go for a crab cake or, um, you know, whatever is like, I, I often will pick ambiance and then hope that they have good food. So, um, you know, any kind of like old fashioned dishes, I always, they just kind of make me happy. TBS rat in the kitchen. Now for this question is actually for both of you. Uh, uh, Ludo, what has your experience been like on rat in the kitchen so far? And what do you enjoy most about working on this show? I mean, look, I have a great time on the show um, to meet all this uh, cook. It was amazing. We have some great cook. I mean, we select some great cook and the food was very take seriously. That's what I like about this competitional show. But it's, it's very fun with Natasha. I mean, it's just what I like. It's, that's what I like about the show. It's just, uh, it's really about cooking and fun. And it's a game at the same time. Like you need to find the rats. It's so cool to try to find the rats on the show. And it's so great that they didn't tell us who the rat is so that yeah, Ludo and cool. I get to play the game. So it's almost like a, an episode of Clue happening while these people are like frantically trying to impress us. <laughs> and the same question for you, Natasha. How would you describe what your experience has been like so far working on Rat in the Kitchen? And what do you enjoy most about working on this show? Well, I was a little scared to be a part of a cooking competition because I'm actually actively a horrifying chef. But I was like, oh, mm -hmm. if Ludo's there to balance it out, and I actually do it. I mean, I went to college for theater criticism, and as a comedian, I feel like I'm kind of a cult cultural critic. So for me, like, critic, like having a developed palate or developing my palate a little more and being able to criticize it and also see what's great about the food. I mean, that was really fun. And also, uh, you know, getting to hear Ludo talk about the food so eloquently and deeply, and he cares so much about it. Um, you know, it was it was pretty fascinating. And I think that, you know, the, the show's 
so good because it's funny. People, you know, there's this game element, but then you actually do learn a little bit too about cooking yeah. and standards and, and what's mm -hmm. expected and what makes something amazing and what secret ingredients are and acidity, you know, everything like that. Well, both of you are fantastic. Great, great work. Uh, sadly, we are out of time. But again, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Natasha, Ludo, you guys take care. Merci. Have a good day. Thank, thank you. you very much. Be sure to catch Natasha Leggero and Ludo Lefebvre on the TVS series, Rat in the Kitchen. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.